According to a recent study by the Walden Center, 15% of women ages 17 to 24 have eating disorders, and the stress of a busy college life only makes it worse. One student at USC knows about this all too well. Carolina reporter Haley Ingram has the story. Balancing school, activities, work, and a social life can take having some control. Every single day, every hour, every minute was planned. That's Jenny Rudolph a senior at USC, and she learned how too much control can spiral you out of control. I wasn't like the Jenny that all my friends knew. After ACL surgery, she felt like she didn't have control over her body, so instead, she controlled what she ate, and college only made it worse. It would be a yogurt for breakfast, lunch was a, like a little bit of vegetables with vinegar, like no oil, dinner was an apple with two tablespoons of peanut butter. Rudolph struggles with anorexia, one of the three types of eating disorders, defined by excessive dieting and exercise. Sophomore year, she hit rock bottom. Like when I looked in a mirror, I didn't see what everyone else saw. Everyone else saw this girl that literally looked so fragile and sick, and I didn't see that. I saw like fat. Like I would look in the mirror three times a day and make sure like that my thighs didn't like grow. And she is not alone. 20% of college students said they have or have had an eating disorder. And it's because what we see and what they see in the mirror just don't match up. Registered dietitian at USC, Juliana Wishnia, says eating disorders are more likely to develop on college campuses. Yeah. It might be your first time like making food for yourself, choosing food for yourself. It's a lot easier to restrict because you're not being monitored the way that you used to. Stress alone, um, anxiety with like all your classes and like that weight loss that might occur might not be seen in this large environment. But thankfully, Rudolph was able to seek help through the resources on campus. Um, so you can be seen by a registered dietitian individually. You can see by, uh, be seen by a counselor and psychiatrist individually. And you can see, be seen by primary care individually. And now, Rudolph feels like it's vital that she speaks out. Seeing like what my friends like went through with me, seeing someone they care about literally kill, killing themselves over something like this, it makes me like, I don't want someone to be going through what I've been through. For Carolina News, I'm Haley Ingram. For more information about treatment for eating disorders, visit the Center for Health and Wellbeing on campus or the Student Health Services website.